Nicole, good to see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> so um, this is our inaugural creative career video for Show Me The Money. Um, Nicole Lozada is our first up and she is senior designer at RSM Marketing. So um, short and sweet, I'm gonna ask you a series of questions and then I, I, I really wanna hear your honest answer too, um, especially on things being your least favorite. So one of the goals of this project is to really share um, honest interpretations for students about what it takes to get into the creative field but also what it's like being there um, too. Like we have the best job in the universe and then we also sometimes have the most challenging um, jobs as well. So hearing what um, your thoughts are on that. So very first question, um, tell us a bit about your career and what you do on a daily basis. Okay, um, well I'm the senior designer and print lead at RSM Marketing. So with that, I can design different things every day. I get to build websites, I get to do social graphics and print materials. Um, and even more so being the print lead, I have a handle on anything that goes out the door and is sent to vendors. So I have to verify the specs. I work directly with vendors to ensure we're getting the best pricing and try to get RSM reseller accounts so they can get bigger discounts and so whether we do a trade show booth that's a huge project or just a simple business card or brochure i have my hand in all of those and just make sure everything is the best quality before it goes out the door to the client awesome so you like do the press checks like make sure everything is correct everything is really good quality and then they run the the entire campaign and put it together so like you're the stopgap to be making sure that nothing goes wrong yes awesome super cool what's your favorite part of that of the design job do you have like since you left school right like when you're in college you end up designing all different things and like you i feel like you're very blessed because you still get to do that at RSM, but is there one thing that's like your favorite? Like I love now designing for social or like, oh man, like print has become my all time favorite since you've been done with school. Yeah, I think my heart is always going to be in print even though it's not as common as it used to be, yeah. but love getting the physical copies of things once they're produced. Yeah, there's nothing like social and anything web, even web is kind of anticlimactic, right? So even when you're done, you're like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> but with print, you can open it and you can smell the fresh ink and it's just really yummy, you know, and you have this yeah. thing. And yeah. you have the silky papers that you can just feel and never want to stop touching. Exactly. <laughs> you just keep flipping the pages. Oh, People yeah. People always think I'm a nerd for like sniffing the book, <laughs> but it smells good, right? Like it's so good. <laughs> There's no smell other than like fresh ink off the press. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what was your, what was your path to the career, to this career? What education did you have to have? Have you had to do any additional education since you left um, college? And I also, your friend's university grad, which is super cool too. Um, so since you've studied at Friends, have you had to do anything else? Um, and tell us a little bit about your time at Friends too. Um, yeah, I got my bachelor's in arts with emphasis in graphic design from Friends um, in 2015. And while I was there, I did internships and I worked on campus and that helped build my portfolio a lot. Um, having a real world experience rather than only student work. And since being out of school, I have worked at a commercial real estate firm. I've worked at a local TV station. Um, I worked at a bakery as a designer while I was in school and they didn't pay much and the owner was not a nice person, but it's important to have real work and it helped me gain the experience that helped build up my portfolio so sometimes you got to do the grunt work 
Right. And then that all led you to where you're at now with RSM. So mm -hmm. how long have you been at RSM now? It'll be four years in March. Okay. And that's a pretty big chunk of time for a graphic designer. A lot of times people switch jobs quite frequently every few years. Um, in Wichita, that's not so much the norm, but in larger cities, a lot more movement. So what would you say is your favorite part of your job? You mentioned print being your favorite, but do you have like a favorite overall thing that you love, love your life every day as a designer for? There's, since I'm at a big firm, we have hundreds of clients in various industries. So there's never a boring day and no two days are the same. Um, so like I said earlier, I can be building a website and then immediately switch directions and work on some social graphics for a completely different client. So I'm never working with the same colors and I'm never working with the same fonts and yeah, it's always interesting and fun. It never gets boring. Yeah. So do you, you know, oftentimes college can be ultra fast paced and like getting the projects done. Um, do you feel like that's continued in the field? Like they, or do you feel like it's picked up even at all? Like, um, of like you're working on eight different projects at once perhaps, and then you have to get things out of the door, very short turnover time. Is that the case at RSM or no? Yes, um, we have rush work come in constantly. Um, it's a daily thing that we experience. And so you may feel like in school you're rushed, but you at least get a couple days or sometimes even weeks to work on a project. But um, there are often times where we get something, we get an email from the client and they're like, we need this by the end of the day. So we have to drop everything we're doing and, just, and help make the client happy. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they for. Okay. So segue into what's your least favorite part of the job? Um, that also has to do with the clients. <laughs> um, we have some pretty demanding clients at RSM and they have different opinions than we do about how things should look design wise. Um, we have produced some seriously hideous logos in the past because that's <laughs> specifically what clients have asked for. And rather than trying to fight them on it, after we explain why this isn't a good idea, if they still wanna go with it, we just, let them have it and close your eyes and give it to them. Yeah. And we just don't put that in our portfolio. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got to make the client happy. And that's one thing I always try to explain to students too, is like, you have to get prepared for those things that you're like, Oh, my design heart, like, and you just do it and you move on because hopefully the next project is something that lights you up, you know, but there are those ebbs and flows of those projects that are, that you're like, I don't want anyone to know that you designed on. Like, don't yeah, tell anyone. Cool. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Okay, so if you had one piece of advice for students who are right now studying art, whether that be anywhere from elementary to high school to JUCO, um, and even our college students are watching this too. So if you have any piece of advice for those students, what would it be? Um, I know this is, a pretty common one, but a strong portfolio is a necessity. Um, I've had to interview people for design roles within RSM, and there are some people that don't come with the portfolio at all. So I honestly don't consider those people for the position, yeah. or not. Um, and having a, including a strong sketchbook with that to show your process is even better because you they can see how you work and your uh, thought process and not just that you know how to make things look pretty yeah because the thought process is more important than whether or not you can slap something beautiful together right so you've legit had people show up for an interview with no portfolio yep wow wow <laughs> and it's really it's really sad because they oftentimes have really strong resumes, but I have to see what you're offering yeah. us. So nothing online, nothing like a printed book, just nada. Nada. 
Wow. Okay. So okay. Don't that students yes. <laughs> have a book. And you yes. have to have that at all levels, right? I mean, you had that in high school. You did that every semester throughout college. We have a capstone portfolio class here that you took, Nicole, like getting all of that stuff prepared. Um, you know, so that just is a must. So it's shocking to me that people are showing up with that one. How fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, last question, and then we're done, because these are micro interviews, right? Um, so if you were a cereal, what kind of cereal would you be and why? I've never heard that question before. Until, <laughs> until that was the point. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say Lucky Charms, because I have this serious kind of grainy side to me, and you have to pick through that to get to the fun, awkward, marshmallowy side of me. <laughs> That's perfect. I can totally see that. Yeah. The, okay, so... Um, that's like a really popular, well, I don't know if that one is, but you know, when you go to a design or any creative job interview, they have these random questions that they ask you oftentimes just to see how you think um, and to see how quick you are, how clever you are. Um, and so that serial one is always one I ask my students a lot too when we're talking about interview prep because then they're like, oh my gosh. Uh, so I always want to know what other people say about cereal. And we all have a different answer. It's never the same, which is so cool. There are way delicious cereals too. There are. There really are. It's a tough world we live in. And I love <laughs> your shirt, by the way. Thank you. Awesome. So, okay. <laughs> so thank you so much. I appreciate you greatly. And um, we will talk soon. We could talk forever. We haven't been able to talk for a long time. So I will see you soon. <laughs> <laughs>